Dear ladies and gentlemen, dear all of you behind the screens, uh, we are really uh, happy and back uh, to another special masterclass within our masterclass series. And we are really happy that you are with us. And yes, there are so many of you are with us and we are really happy that it is so. And we welcome you to this special topic of today. So the progeny presentation highlights of the German Holstein breed. That is the topic of today. And um, my name is Almut Averbeck. I'm division manager for international sales. And I'm really happy that uh, I'm allowed to lead you a little bit through the today's program. Uh, another 45 more or less minutes, we will be together if you like. And yeah. What did we prepare for you? So all of you know, during Schauder Besten, we do the progeny presentation. And um, as you also know, this year, it, everything came different. So what we tried within our team is to um, prepare this for you in a digital way. And yeah, that is why we decided to do some progeny presentation of certain bulls and we picked in uh, in total, six daughter groups from the following bowls. So those are Arino Red and Ben Red. And we also took Beatstick and Dalingo, Jameson and Jazz, because we thought that this is a good mixture of our complete bull lineup, um, referring to the age and also to the traits and the quality of the bulls. So you can be quite excited what the team inside Mastering prepared for you. And yeah, I'm really happy that inside our team, uh, we have, um, how you call this, emphasized people, emotional people who burn for uh, daughters from certain bulls and who like to go from farm to farm and take pictures and videos from them and um, like to take this workload because it was not so easy to go through our whole breeding area inside the master and uh, cooperative uh, to find all the daughters and to take the videos. So we are quite thank thankful for this and also for the farmers who gave us the possibility and helped us to prepare everything in a very good way. So before we start this, and before we give our well-known expert Stefan Kallas the opportunity uh, to bring this daughter groups uh, closer to us and um, make the presentation, let's solve some technical questions. You know this from the other masterclasses that we um, test our chat and our back office team here, Jan and Timo, they prepared already a question inside the chat, so please, try to um, use this and go to the top of your screen and please answer the question. Now it comes here. What is the best master and progeny you have in your barn? So we would like to learn that. What is the best master and progeny you have into your barn? And uh, yeah, share your, your emotions on your own cows, please, and write something inside. So let's wait how the chat is working. Okay. Jotan, Dalingo. Okay, okay, please go ahead. <laughs> really like that. Yes, to learn something more. So also please during this presentation, you can always give us a feedback um, on which bulls you like most or which daughters from which bulls you like most. And so please use the chat, put, uh, place all your questions there. I already uh, noted some questions that we collected in beforehand that I will place to Stefan in between. And yeah, during this event now today, also Jan will answer some and the others I will just uh, transfer to Stefan directly. All right, I think we are well prepared. Um, I don't hear anything from my team. So I think we can start, very good. And Stefan now, uh, I, are, I already announced you as our well-known expert who loves his job. So now it's your stage and please go ahead. Yeah, Amut, uh, thanks a lot for the introduction. Um, yes, I do like my job. Uh, I do like to have a close visit to Coes and I'm happy to give you uh, yeah, a little idea, a little overview of what Master and Progeny looks at the moment. So um, I will share the video. So we, we want to start with our progeny presentation. We are very, very happy that uh, the farmers were 
so cooperative to show us their cows and uh, we could go in the barns and just yeah take a closer look prepare the cows and uh, it was a nice team and i i hope you enjoy it and i'm very excited to get a few questions from all of you so we want to start with ben red uh, ben red has his second proof in april he's a break on son from a canopy um, the canopy is also the half sister to the well-known bull filu REC, he's a fanatic son here at Masterin. And we start with this really fancy, stylish heifer. Uh, we are here at the farm, Conny Derpoven. He's also well known. Um, he used Ben Red a bit. And here we have a very young uh, two year old. Uh, exactly, she's not really two years, but uh, she carved in with 22 months. And the point we took the video, she was pretty fresh. So um, I'm really sure her other will even get better during the lactation. Um, and here you have an overview of what Ben Red is really doing great. You see this outstanding memory, uh, the good venation, the nice um, teeth placement, and it's really, really good detached. She had in her first milk check 29 kilograms of milk with really high components, over 4% fat and 360 protein. So, um, I think she even will produce more right now. So, and that's a really good competitive to the first one we saw. We are still on the same farm. It's also a Ben Red, and um, she is far in lactation. She calved in in August. So, I think it's a pretty good um, idea how they come together in or well, during the first lactation, and um, how they became more and more cows and get more strength and depth and you can still see the really great memory system where uh, Ben Red is um, known for what his proof is telling us. So um, medium sized cows um, and really coming together during lactation, great memory system. And um, yeah, he was a bull, especially I would say his good other proof. He was used quite a bit in France and the Netherlands and Austria and in Swiss. He is still in the program in Swiss, uh, Switzerland, um, and uh, we are looking forward to see his first daughters over there. His interval proof is um, already with daughters from France and Switzerland, so we could call him an international successful bull. So um, here we can see the great bone quality. The thing we didn't realize at the point we started the video, these bows are Ben Reds from a Let P dam, different Let P's, but yeah, it seems to fit pretty well. And uh, the few we had, uh, you could see the great development, I would say. Here we come to another, um, I would say really, really fancy Ben Red. Uh, I would go the way that she could um, go to any local show here in Germany. She is from Wortmann. It's a farm pretty close to the headquarters here in Ferden. Uh, she is also from the Let P. Um, it was not our goal to present only Ben Red from Let P's, but it turned out the way it is. Um, but she has perfectly shown us the great memory. I mean, you see the long four other attachment, the great venation, um, the really nice rump. Um, and I think she's, she's a really stylish, special one. So. You see this little girl, she trained with her. She was on the young breeder competition. And um, yeah, she is milking way over 30 kilograms right now and also 368 on protein. So um, here we have a nice overview on her daily work. Um, the farm is milking with robots, only robots. And uh, we like to show you that, um, yeah, even with automatic milk systems, it's, it's a bull you could consider. In a minute, we will have a look on her other, here she comes when she is milked. So, I mean, that says all, it's just quality. And um, I would say it's a great bull to look at. Now we come to Jess. Jess is a bull we own and is housed in the US. Uh, he was a very early modesty son, um, a very complete modesty son, and we are very happy to have him. And we are here seeing three Jess daughters milking at Reichenbach Agrar in Saxony. It's a huge dairy milking over a thousand cows uh, with um, high milk production. And um, 
These three, I mean, shows that perfectly what the farm is looking at, medium-sized cows, that's what Jess doing. Um, and they have over uh, 30 kilograms in average. Um, one is milking over 40 and uh, one 38 and one 35. So really nice cows. Um, and we will have a very nice look uh, on the rump angle in a, in a minute. Um, that's also what Jess is known for. So um, I would say he's doing the perfect job for commercial dairy. Here we see it all a bit slope rums, um, enough strength and enough, enough capacity uh, and still milking a lot of milk. So um, they are doing a great job. Jess, um, also what I like to, to mention is that he is Omen Mirror family and everybody knows in front of Omen Mirror is Mirage and um, she is a Manat daughter. So also Master and had her um, influence in this family and I would say he was one of the few European bulls who had influence in, in big families. So um, it's a nice idea to see that. Here we have them in, um, in motion and you can see they have a perfect feet, set of feet and legs. Um, they are very um, good on movement. Um, and um, we will see the third one in a minute. As I said, I would say Jess is a, a bull. Um, you have to consider if you're a huge dairy and just want to want to milk healthy, problemless cows. Um, that's what Jess has given us. Jess was, as I said, um, early modesty, a very complete modesty. He was used in nearly every market who was selecting on TPI base. Um, and he was heavily used in Iran in Hungary and Canada a bit, um, and a bit of North America, Netherlands, Belgium, France. He is still um, in the top 50 daughter proven bulls on ISO um, in France, and I think that makes him pretty interesting. And here you see again, very good other quality. So, um, the proof he has right now is also an interval and he has daughters in the interval proof from Italy, from France and from Belgium. I mean, that shows again that he is a very popular bull all over Europe. This was the first video we took. So um, I apologize for the very light video. We had to train also a bit, um, but I think it's, um, it's an impressive view. You see this four jazz daughters on a commercial dairy, Altenberg close to Hanover. A very, very nice other attachment, um, very good bone quality. And um, we will also see in a minute uh, rump angle. That's what he is correcting pretty perfect. So I would say it's a really, really nice group of two yolks. And um, <clears throat> here we will see them in motion. They said, I'm a bit sorry for the lights, but also we had to train a little bit. Now we know how to do better, but uh, in the end, I think this group of cows is worth to show to you and um, you will have an idea on what he can and what he is to protect on. So here again, we like to show you that um, they are really cows not making problems, good for robot milking systems. He's doing a bit longer teats, that's what his proof is saying, and you can also see it on this one, but I think a longer teat is not really an issue on the breed right now, so it's actually uh, good to have. Now we come to one of my favorites. His name is Jameson. I think everybody should know him by now. He's classified excellent. He's a jet set son from a ballisto. And, um, He's also international wise, really nice on his proof on Interbowl. Here we are at a dairy called um, Lynchen. It's in the north of Germany, pretty close to Bremerhaven. And I would say we have two really nice two-year-olds. Um, this other attachment Jameson has given on to his daughters is I would say outstanding. Um, we have been to several farms, even doing pictures and Mostly we came to the farm, they were not clipped, not washed. And we said, oh, average size cow, maybe even a bit small cow. 
very, very wide ramp. And your Adder looks all right, we will see. And when they clipped, you see this, uh, the nation all over the Adder, just quality. And uh, we also will see a few when they are milked. So <clears throat> Jameson is a bull you have to use on your farm. You have to recommend to your customers. He's huge on components. Um, he's outstanding in memory. I mean, that's a nice view every morning in the parlor, I would say. And um, with Jet Set, it's a different size stock. Maybe have to protect him a bit on the milk side, but to be honest, um, we had a few or many bulls here at Master and they were huge in production and a bit low on components. So here you have your perfect match. And even this two are on a different farm um, close to Oldenburg, Martins. Uh, you can see the really right rums he is putting on his offspring. And you can see really the, the great other attachment the one on the right side was pretty fresh and um, yeah, the others were maybe a bit overloaded. So um, don't count too hard on her central regiment. Um, we were there in real and it was really all right. Um, so we love to show you this attachments and this venation and just quality. And I would say Jameson is a bull we don't have every proof run. Here you have another idea after milking. Here we are uh, on another farm, Kuhlmann is the name. Um, it's also two Jameson daughters and you see the white rums, it's a good other attachment as I mentioned a few times before. Um, we are really enthusiastic about our Jameson daughters. So um, he is doing what the farmers expect right now. He's negative for size, but still positive on strength. I mean, that's a pretty rare combination. Um, he gives them more dairiness and more openness um, than the proof shows you. I would consider, I saw, I would say nearly 80 milking Jameson right now. Rump angle is uh, level, uh, but rump width is, is really, really great. Um, the rear set, the rear leg side view, um, the proof says they are pretty straight. Um, I've seen more with a little curve or a perfect set of feet and legs. I guess it's because there are a few extreme ones uh, with this little amount of daughters that, that will give him that direction. He was a bull who was used in all um, Belgium, Luxembourg, Netherlands, Austria, Hungary, um, Czech Republic and Poland. And he is still in the top 100 in Spain on daughter proven Ico proof. And he is a bull who was very famous in Chile. They like the medium sized cows. Um, they used him from the first day on till now. So um, thanks to Chile for trust our genetics. Here we are again in Saxony. Uh, it's also a huge dairy, uh, milking over 800 cows. And um, we were really impressed the morning we came to, to the grounds. Uh, we clipped them the day before in the morning when the others were filled up. I mean, we had this view and um, it's all you're, you're looking for when you like to milk commercial cows. He is daughter proven in the UK already and is 3.13 on other and 2.75 on other. That makes him uh, in the top 10 of the other proven bulls in the UK. Um, that's really nice to reach. Now we come to one really special bull, I would say, Dalingo. Everybody knows his stem. She's the 96 point cow. You saw the pictures going around social media the other day, seventh lactation. He's classified 92. That makes him the highest classified bull in Germany alive right now. And um, here we start with a daughter in the Netherlands. Um, she has shown us perfectly what Dalingo is giving to the next generation. They all have slopey rums. They all have a perfect set of feet and legs. I mean, from side view wise, they are a bit taller, uh, like you expect from a gold ship. And they have a lot of style and the memory system. I mean, we see a few more in a bit, it's just outstanding. I would say it's a bowl you don't have every day in your barn. Great sire stock, outstanding family from the Delias and this offspring we are very happy to consider him a master in bull. He was used all over Europe. He was used in many countries. Um, 
he is still number two daughter proven uh, in Germany. This is a Dalingo daughter. I had the honor to judge her as a heifer. She was champion on a, on a type competition um, in Germany. And it's really nice to see her again with this great memory system. You see the forward attachment, you see the bone quality. Um, the farmer is very, very happy with her. Um, and here again at Lynchen, it's also a very young, she coughed and was 22 months um, heifer, but see the bone quality and just this other attachment. I mean, there's nothing more you like to see on a two-year-old. Dalingo himself is 4.9 on morphology in France, and he has already 25 milking daughters in the UK that puts him up to be number two on locomotion with 3.63. And he has 33 milking daughters in Switzerland with 143 for type and 100, sorry, 134 for type and 134 for other. Uh, I myself had um, the great pleasure to see milking Dalingos in the Netherlands, in the UK, in Germany, and in Switzerland. And um, you can see his stamp, always a white rump, very white rump, like the bull himself, a slopey rump the perfect side view from the feet and leg point of view and great memory system. Stefan, maybe I, I in, may interrupt you. Maybe you can stop the video for a short while. Um, there's a question coming in and I would like to uh, postpone this to you. Um, what are the farmers telling you when you are around the farms and, and have a look at the, the Dalingo daughters, what are they telling you, telling you about the milking speed? Oh, that's a good question, Ahmed. Thanks for that. Uh, I, I nearly forgot about it. Um, as I said, I saw, I would say, around 50 milking Dalingo daughters. Um, and um, I never pointed out to ask straight for milking speed. I just asked if everything is all right or anything to consider or anything you, you don't like on them. And to be honest, there was one farmer, he said, milking speed is a bit low. Um, and then we talked further and he said, yeah, but the dam is milking 1.2 kilograms a minute. So I would say you should protect him on that. Don't use him on your heavy milkers. But all together, you have cows, they are maybe a bit too light in milking speed. So I, I won't worry about it. It's a thing you have to keep in mind, that's for sure. But um, it's not a reason to skip him from your breeding list. I mean, see what you get. We are back in the Netherlands. Um, I started the video again. Um, she was second on a progeny competition in the Netherlands. Um, and the Netherlands are known for really strong, deep, open frame cows. And with Dalingo and the style of Dalingo on top of it, um, you see what, what he can deliver. I mean, Betty is doing a great job leading her, but on the other side, she is she is a very fancy two-year-old. I guess everybody who is watching uh, would love to have her in your barn. And now we are coming to a really special one. Um, she's housed at Struthof Holsteins. She is a Dalingo from ICE. FG eyes. Uh, she was a Jasper at the European show. So you can see what Dalingo can deliver you when you use him on great cows or outstanding cows. Um, I saw her the other week again. Um, the video was taken a few weeks ago. So I saw her last week again. And she is even coming more together, getting more depth gap and more openness and strength and um, she's classified 87 already. We don't have too many 87.2 year olds in Germany. And um, I'm really sure that she would lift up the master and flag on the nationals if we would have them this year. And um, she would be maybe some, some cow to show the German flag on European level. I mean, that's an outstanding two year old and she's worth every point she got. And uh, you can see what Dalingo brings you when you use him on your stylish fancy cows and even what he can deliver if you put him on a good commercial barn cow. 
I mean, see this texture and the teeth placement and the width and the central legend, I would say nothing more we are asking for. Here again, we like to show you the quality. And uh, I mean, that says all. Now we come into a bowl. We like to show you second and third calf daughters. It's Beatstick. He was heavily used in Germany as a young sire. He's classified excellent already. And here we are at Kampa Holsteins. Um, the one on the right and the one on the left are third calf, and the both in the middle are second calf. And they are really typical Beatstick daughters. They are all black. They are all very silky, very good bone quality, not too huge in size. Um, but coming together with age. Um, after he was a very heavily used young sire, the first one carved in and a few farmers called and said, hmm, make production is a bit on the low end. Um, but it took three, four months and the same farmers calls again and says, oh, but they are pretty good in keeping up their milk production and uh, they're coming together at great cows and no second and third calf. They are really outstanding cows. All four cows average over 10,000 kilograms of milk in their lactations. And uh, you can see locomotion is not the problem. Um, they have fun going to the parlor. I mean, Beatstick, as I said, is a bull who was uh, really heavily used. He was the most used um, young sire in Germany. Sorry, I don't know the year exactly, but um, these four cows are just what he is delivering. Itzik was a bull, he was used um, to correct the teeth placement in the rear, especially. <clears throat> he is uh, from, a, from a very nice family. Um, he has high components, most of the ballista sons. And of that, he was used heavily in the Netherlands and France and even in Austria. Here we are again at Kuhlmann. Um, this is a, a second calf beat stick. She is in the end of the first second, sorry, second lactation. Uh, you can see it from, from her body condition, but we love to show her this, you, this cow with this complete package, the strong father attachment, the great venation and the capacity. Um, that's what beat stick stands for. Here we go up to a third calf cow. She's also at Kuhlmann Dame. He's milking with a robot. So we will see it in a minute. Bitsik himself um, has uh, milking daughters all over Europe and uh, also Russia used Beatstick quite a bit. And um, now he's back in use in Luxembourg. So um, we are very happy to, that we kept this bull in our barns here in Ferden and um, gave the daughters the time to prove that uh, he was the right bull at the right time. we go back to the April proof, there's a high ranking RZG daughter proven bull. Its name is Falstaff. It's a half brother to Beatstick. He is showing from the type point of view that the same skills than Beatstick, but he is heavily high on production. He's over 2000 pounds, kilograms, sorry. Um, a bit lower on components, but um, also the correcting of cheat placement is one thing he, he's doing pretty well. So the family delivers um, what we expect. I mean, look at these cows, they are really medium size. I mean, my colleague in the back, he is quite tall. So, uh, can count on that. He's, these cows are not too big. And um, on the other hand, when you go through the proof system, Beatstick has an RZ, sorry, has a robot index from 148. I don't know if there's any higher bull. I think probably not. So to correct the teeth placement to get them used for robot milking systems, I would say Beatstick is a good advice. Um, this is also a third calf Beatstick and uh, no 
you can see how the robot is going. So as I said before, the medium size, still a bit uh, body depth um, and the great development into old cows with the correcting of the teat placement, good teat length. That's all things uh, the modern cow has to deliver. And that's things the farmers are looking for. So um, if you want to protect your herd on that, go for beat stick. And now we are coming to a bull. I mean, uh, I probably don't have too much for Arino Red. He's also classified excellent. That makes him the 10th generation excellent in a row. Um, he is very good on production and he is putting a stamp on his offspring. Um, here we are also at Strutter Holsteins. Um, and this cow is a perfect example of what Arino is delivering. I'm really sure if we would have a German national show this year, this one is one who will be there and fight for the master and crew. So um, this length and this depth, I mean, um, she is all what we like on young cows. Um, and she is typically what Arino is delivering. Very wide rums, very, very wide rear udders. They could be, for the show point of view, a bit higher in the top, the rear udders, but all over, they are really wide good central regimen, good teeth placement, and as you see here, good venation. Also what he is typically passing on on the next generation is the rear leg side view. They have a, a real little curve in the rear leg. I mean, that's that's the things that farmers tells me every day. They, they like to have more bolts. They bring this and um, here you have a daughter proven bull from a well-known worldwide active family, a very great sire stock and a great combination of production and type. So all over, I would say, um, if you are a red and white breeder, Arino is something you should put on your map if you didn't in the past. He is uh, in the top 10 daughter proven red TPI bulls in the world. Um, he is 2.52 on other in the UK and 2.15 on type. That proof makes him the number two red bull in the UK system. And he is also one of the highest in Germany. Here we are at uh, Carsten Holsteins. Um, he has three Arino daughters milking. Two was a second calf and this one was a two year, was a two year old. The first one is um, very, very fresh. You will see her in a minute. Um, don't be too hard on her condition, but um, we love to show her that, show you the other, the great production. She's making over 60 kilograms. And um, as you saw in the video, they all have really this outstanding wide rums and um, the great bone quality. And as I said, a bit of a curve in the rear leg, what's actually, I would say, a plus on his breeding skills. If you look through his daughter proof, I would say he, he brings together what the red breed is looking for. Um, they have great type and pedigree, good production, and especially good components. That's uh, what usually the red breed is, is known for. Here you can see them walking around a bit in the, in the freestyle. This is a two-year-old. Look again at this great memory system. 
and they all have this nice wide rums, as I mentioned many times before. Our idea was here to show you that they are good. They are, can move good on their rear legs. They are good in locomotion and um, show us great quality from head to tail. They will be in the parlor in a minute. And the one on the right side, she is in the end of the lactation. Okay, thanks for watching. That was our video. If you have some questions, um, I'm happy to answer them. And um, hopefully you got a great idea and a great view on what the master and sire stock can deliver you. So, Amo, do you have some questions? Thank you, Stefan, for sure I have. And uh, thank you for your great presentation. Uh, you are really calm talking about all the bulls, but I know that you are quite uh, excited about them. So um, yes, let's, let us participate a little bit uh, on your special views on the cows. And um, you ended with Arino Red and you uh, explained him as a great uh, combination between a production and a show type bull. And you know that um, Master and um, bull line up in the show type sector, especially in the uh, red and white sector is kind of famous. And um, the question came in due to this, um, what about dice red? I mean, what about the first daughters of them? Um, not a lot of our clients already wait for the, the dice daughters. Did you see of, uh, some of them already? And what is your impression on them? Thanks, Emma. That's a good uh, point. Yeah, um, we, we are happy to um, get a few special bolts to our lineup that we can deliver semen for every uh, needs and every thoughts. Um, Dice Red, yes, um, I saw a few in Germany and Switzerland and um, in the Netherlands. And the young stock was quite exciting. They won great shows, um, heifer shows. Um, and now the first ones are milking and he is uh, giving to the next generation exactly what we thought. So great, great memory systems, a lot of innovation, good texture. And um, I think uh, Dice Red is for sure one to watch out and to have, have a look at the offspring in the future. We pictured a few. You can find new pictures on our website, masterin.com, daughter pictures, there's a new one. Um, so uh, Dice Red is, is a nice bull, it's a special bull, but for the show, show type breeders, I guess, or the ones they like the type, it's, it's a great mention. Okay, thank you, Stefan. There's another question coming in. Um, I cannot see always who is asking, so that's why I just place the questions. Do you have any good bulls for tropics, for ex India or Asia? That's the, the, the question coming in from somebody here in the audience. You see this there at the screen? Yes. So um, special area it's, in the it's, in the in the world. <laughs> it's pretty special, uh, to be honest. Um, I need to think a bit about it for a while. Um, I don't know. So we don't um, have a proof, especially for for cows. They are better in, in heat protection or things. So I don't know how you call it. Um, but I could mention that that it's a medium sized cow um, with a normal production and good components. So um, my idea, I don't know, could be Jameson um, and, and could be could be bulls, um, not with a huge milk production, um, maybe more an average production and, and good components. Um, so um, I think that's something you, you can protect. On the other hand, um, Everybody knows who keeps animals out in the field. The white ones um, have usually get problems with the sun, sunburn or stuff like that. So on that point, uh, even beet stick could be a recommendation. They are always black. Um, all the ones I saw are black. So if you go from that point of view and want to do a bit protection in the tropics on the sun, um, maybe beet stick. I hope. I could answer the question right. If not, um, come back to us and we can go in a closer discussion. Stefan, I will give you a much easier question. 
from the bulls or the daughters from the bulls you presented to us, which one of those would you use for your own herd? Oh, to be honest, um, there are a few bulls I would love to use in, in my herd if I would have one. Um, I usually like to use bulls. I know what they are good at and where I have to protect them. So I know um, what will be the result in the end. And to be honest, right now, it's a bull like Jameson, it's Dalingo, it's Arino, it's even a beat stick. And in the past, um, it's, it's a bull like Snow. Uh, if you saw one Snow um, in the world, you can find them everywhere in huge, huge dairies. So he is stamping um, really great. And um, it's even Beard. Um, so he is our old guy. He's turning 10 next month. Uh, we will do a special report on him. And I think he's really worth it. Um, even the three beard daughters we pictured over her six lactations. Um, I mean, that's a bull I would for sure use. Uh, we have national show winners from beard. Um, we have show competitors in different European countries. He has an outstanding family. He was one of the last bulls before the genomics started. So um, he is also a very unique one I would put on my breeding list. You just mentioned uh, the, the master gene segment uh, of our bulls that we offer. And is there some bull that you can especially recommend to our um, breeders and, and distributors, for example? Uh, yeah, um, as I said before, um, it depends on, on what you are looking at and what you want to have for a kind of cow. If, if you're a cheese maker, if you're a, a drinking milk producer, whatever. Um, but there are a few bulls I really like, and I really think they, they have some, some outstanding unique points. And that's uh, maybe Hot Bob. Uh, he's a hot job son from a fressel from his Alta Spring. It's a nice combination. You know you will get good udders. He's 2,900 TPI. He's 2.77 for udders. Um, and I don't know many bulls in the breed. They are available free without any contracts and get all these proof points. So um, that's one I would love to recommend to everybody. Um, then it's a new one, Colobus is his name. Um, he is starting semen production right now. It's a copyright. Um, I like the copyrights. It's a great pedigree. The Jedi daughter I saw her is, was an outstanding cow. And then you have a red rock and then a gate dancer. The gate dancer we pictured, she's here in Germany. She is in the third lactation right now. A huge framed, white, deep black cow. And the, the Red Rock, I mean, you have everything in this pedigree. It's from the altitudes. You have the, the Jedi Kashmir, you have the altitudes. Um, it's really great. He's also above 2,900 TPI and 2.76 for others. So um, I would like to advise you to these two bulls. And if you give me the time for a third one, um, a bull I really like and I love the family um, is Hubertus and his half-brother Bassoni. Hubertus is the highest humble kind you can get for TPI, he's 2820 and um, 730 on net merit. Um, he is from the full sister of our well-known bull top model. So um, we love to, to get a pedigrees and bulls we believe in. And uh, top model is showing us that the truth or the trust, sorry, we put him into him was right. And um, so I think that's a great story, a great family. And um, that's a special bull I also would like to recommend. Perfect, Stefan, that was a lot of information already. There's another question that came in um, from a breeder. He is um, writing, I'm, a, I'm always looking for outcross pedigrees. And um, what recommendation do you have from the master and bull line up in that category? That's a really good question. Um, and it's a good point. Um, the good thing is that I can tell you that we do have a few very nice, especially daughter proven outcross pedigrees, I would say. One of my all time favorite is Roger. It's a robust son from a really great deep cow family. So it's a robust from a shuttle from a Rudolph and the Rudolph and in front of her are five generations excellent. So it's a very deep old pedigree, but he is still 136, I think on RZG and um, yeah, when you see his daughters as two-year-olds, they are medium size. Actually, he's getting the size down. So they are really medium size. They are strong. They are wide. 
they have a bit meat on their bones, um, but the, the healthy way we love it. And they have very, very functional udders. Um, so when you see them again, I had the luck to see a few with third, first, second and third lactation. And they came into really great dairy cows as everybody loves. They, they got shoulder, they got um, style, they got wrist. So um, Roger is one you should put on your map. Then um, another one I really like, and he is very constant in the German RZG list is uh, Marcrest. It's from one of the best Dutch families, I would say, from the classies. Um, it's a Mardi Gras son, so it's a different pedigree, Mardi Gras, man on man. Um, and um, he is also very yeah, high, I would say, for that old bull on RZG. And um, he makes this great rums, and it's a different sire stock. So, um, yeah, if you ask for an advice, these two are probably the one. Uh, I think they are really outcross bulls. Uh, we have a few more, but I don't want to um, talk and talk and talk, and you um, don't, uh, can follow me. So if, if you have any more, um, ask for outcross pedigrees. Uh, the master and crew here in Ferden has a, has a list. They can talk to you, they can deliver, or even our um, sales partners in different countries. So I, I, would, I would say we really have some nice outcross pedigrees here in the lineup. Very good. So that's how it should be. And what we also really face is that we will get larger and larger farms and, um, you know, uh, how, how they have to be set up and what um, I don't want to say problems, but what challenges they have to face every day. And, and with this makes it quite um, more important to pick the right bull. What recommendation do you have in regard to that? So for large farms? Yeah, as I, I said, it depends probably a bit on, on how old is the barn. Um, if there's a lot of comfort or is it a bit more a robust system? Um, I would say Beard is a bull. Um, he is he is doing great. I mean, he started uh, with 307 kilograms of milk with his first daughter proof, and we all thought, oh shit, it's maybe we will see how that turns out. And then over a year, um, the daughters helped him to go up to over 700 kilograms, and he stood there for quite a while. So um, in the end, he is one of the rare daughter proven bulls who is in the list of the top 10 most used bulls in Germany. And I would say that says also um, for a huge dairy uh, who loves to take care of feet and legs and especially of bone quality and other attachment um, by medium size, beard is one um, you should go after. Um, also, um, I would say uh, Puma, Puma am Air. Um, it's an enforcer son. We had a progeny group once. Um, we, at the first point, we start to looking for progeny. There haven't been too many two years in milk in Germany, so it was hard to find a nice group. But in the end, the group shows what he is doing: medium size, strength, and um, different pedigrees. So that's also a daughter-proven bull for um, commercial farmers. If we go to to the um, genomic way, um, I would say a bull. Um, who is looking really great. Um, and if you want to gain some more components, it's La Ola. It's a Lavant from uh, um, a gate dancer. So, sorry, from a medley. It's a Lavant from a medley, um, Oktoberfest. So it's the family of uh, Super Saiyan Miri and uh, Moon Ray and all these great cows. Um, he's also having a great German proof with 158 and a great American proof with over 2800 TPI um, and that looks like he can make a really commercial cow um, and that's one you should have a look to. Thank you Stefan. So we are almost in time as I announced for 45 minutes more or less and uh, I have one last question. Uh, you know that um, the audience is keen to see our um, daughter proven group no, or progeny um, daughters or the groups of our, our progenies during Schauderbest. And I know that this is a quite important um, 
yeah program point uh, we have there and i know that they are quite excited to to hear what is said about uh, the different daughters and the recommendations or thus just the comments from the judge and um yeah i would like to have your final comment um if you uh, have a over or you have an overview over the all, all bulls uh, what is your overall favorite um, bull and uh, what you like most and why is it so so um, personal, uh, I love to, to go to shows. I love to see nice, prepared, good animals in the fairgrounds. And from uh, that point of view, um, I would say Dalingo is for me one of the best in the world you can use and you should use. Um, I mean, he would be, I guess, a perfect cross on nearly every Edward you can find because he's getting the rums down. So personally, for, for this special part, um, I would say Dalingo is one of my all-time favorites, and even the bull is outstanding, beautiful. Uh, I have never seen a bull that complete, and on the other hand, a bit extreme. So um, I love him. It's a great, great bull. On the other hand, um, the most customers um, yeah, produce milk in a commercial way, and that's also very nice, and that's a way to make money. So um, as I said, I like beard. I like snow. Um, I like even the combination of beard and snow. Um, I love the arenos. I mean, uh, number 10, daughter proven on TPI list. Um, at that's a bull, it's free available wherever you like and whenever you like. So he is classified excellent. He has a great sire stock. So um, areno, I would say it's also a very nice bull I would love to use. And uh, if we stay in the, in the red and whites, um, the calves, they are really great and they, they are showing and getting us a lot, lot of hope to be a great proven bull as Avance Red. Um, this apprentice son um, is, is a bull. He was heavily used in nearly every um, red population in the world. So that's one for the future. And uh, also Zolito with a hand, over 150 for other uh, nice sire stock, Altitude family. Um, he is in the proof run since quite a while, number one. He is also number one in the UK uh, on the type way. So uh, he is available sex. And um, so Solito and um, Avance are two for the future to watch out, I would say. Okay, Stefan, you made it. <laughs> Thank you for your questions. And yes, we, we went through all this and um, there are no more questions at the moment coming in. But in case uh, there are some now during two, two or three next minutes where we will end our today's masterclass, just put them into our chat and we will answer them. Um, maybe also by, by written later. So I will now share my presentation for the last slides. Here we go. All right. Does it work? Yes, it works. So if you have any questions to Stefan as our expert, as our bull expert, you are very welcome to ask him directly. Here's uh, his email address. And if you have general information um, about our masterclass offer or about our um, semen offer for our international different uh, client requirements and so on and so on, please um, contact Jan Gephardt beside the whole team you know for within the, the sales group for sure, just to complete uh, the contacts you, you may use. And we may meet again if you like because we have uh, three upcoming events before the summer break and um, yeah we had a lot of digital offers for you in the in the last weeks and months this was quite new for you and for us as well and i know there's a lot of offer that you receive but uh, yeah that was that was our schedule we set in the beginning and um, we are now in the preparation um, of the next events and i really would like to invite you to join that they will all be um, in English language for sure, and they will all take around one hour, one hour a little more. And if you like, the 6th of May, we will uh, have some news about the April proof run, some highlights about our master and sires. And then, as you can see here, 20th of May, we will talk about our professional genetic export to different foreign countries with the example of Great Britain. And the last 
um, masterclass we will have will be then in June 24th, the Bull Parade. We already had this one time and you really liked this. So we collected some more bulls and um, then the commentation will then be done also again by Stefan and uh, Dr. Matthias Riedel. And after the summer break in September, we will be back again with some other digital formats, but that's a little too early to talk about that. For the moment, let me say thank you for your participation. Thank you to the whole team. Thank you to Stefan for his uh, comments. And yes, all of you, please stay healthy, stay positive, stay safe, and hope to see you again soon. And um, before we close this um, masterclass, I ask my team to please uh, put the survey and we are as always interested to learn how you liked what we did so take just some seconds and just put your click on that or send a comment on how you liked it and then let's meet each other again soon so i say from the whole team here bye bye and take care <laughs>